green light means we're good to go and we're gonna need one of these adapters for a breakout we're gonna need the failed device obviously to work with we're gonna need these bad boys for the soldering we're gonna need these eyepieces for seeing what we're doing and the most important of all we're gonna need this fume extraction to keep all the nasty fumes away so just before we start let's inspect what it is that we're gonna need to do you see that these uh, circles in the center are missing well they're not supposed to be missing they're supposed to be in place those circles uh, link up to specific signals that are required for establishing uh, an end protocol access to the device and if we do not have uh, them connected we'll not be able to read uh, the devices NAND I don't know if the place that looked at it does this or if they were just watching some videos on YouTube and trying to scrape the back of the card we see that happening often um, but what I can tell you for sure is that this had come close to being turned off completely and we need this pad for something this pad needs to be um, connected to wherever this round pad used to be this trace this is enough we got trace missing from here and trace missing from here so I'm gonna expose the rest I'm just gonna make sure nothing else is blown off uh, clean it up and uh, put it on the breakout so this is the breakout that I use Alright, so now that uh, the card is clean, we can actually begin testing it. We need to make sure that every wire on the circuit connects to what it's supposed to be connected to. So starting from the interface, tracing these down, we're good, 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 good. good this is ground good there so the interface is all connected which is great uh, so the only damage that we have is human created damage from previous attempt that turn off these four pads now how critical are those pads I don't know off the top of my head but uh, we can easily find out what those pads represent uh, by locating a pinout schematic for it and on the ace labs website uh, they have a demonstration of this schematic looking at this here um, we need this pad this one this one this one and this one all four of these all four of these and all four of these so all the paths that they've turned are essential to make this work before we go any further I would like to uh, get something verified so let's use this adapter with conjunction off of um, PC2000 flash card adapter SD card adapter make that a copy sure into binary file is good so 16 gig hit apply I would be quite surprised to see it work but at the same time I want to say that I wouldn't be surprised if it works <laughs> if it makes sense uh, let's go ahead and power it up card is locked and if we go into reading the card would it let us do that
Everything's connected. Uh, first thing we start with is uh, reading the ID of the chip, making sure that we get it. Read ID. We get an error. Yeah, you know all the ones that are connected to the traces. They're they're good. 